hi guys i hope you're all doing well and keeping safe from wherever you're watching me from welcome back to my youtube channel my name is cynthia agape hash agape's kitchen and i'm back with get another delicious recipe of how to prepare a very simple chicken biryani at home i hope you get to enjoy this video from the beginning till the end if you love this video please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you're meeting me for the very first time karibu 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 Busana. so let me just take you through our today's ingredients we have our full chicken rice one glass of mazualala a mixture of ingredients uh, that i'll mention later on we have our tomato paste our chopped onions paste of garlic and ginger we have our two reco cubes over there yes and our pots that we are going to use later on so i'm going to give you a different recipe i've watched several videos and i just saw how they were preparing their chicken biryani and i'm going to take you through how i prepare my chicken biryani and how i love it so first of all i'm going to boil my chicken for about three to eight minutes yes roughly because i don't want it to overcook because i don't like overcooked chicken so in the meantime to shake a kuku in aiva so to nanda ku prepare our onions nishai kama futa ime boil and then nikaika that silver because siku taka like is kata but you know what your girl <coughs> sorry to nanda ku ibadilisha tena and from the look of things our chicken is ready and tutatoa the uh, onions na tutakuwa tumesha tengeneza and the same same mafuta the same same oil that i used to prepare my onions with ndo nenda kutumia ku deep fry my chicken cuz i don't want it like ikiwa bado ivoro i want to fry it but shallow fry it not uh deep frying it just shallow frying it and then we will continue with our recipe and that's how because atutaki our onions he overcook had he lose lather i want i just wanted it to be a little bit golden brown yes yeah, so as our chicken in a shallow deep fry uko our rice was also cooking and nearly put uh sorry i just put uh one cup of uh rice and measurements the rice i know we will do it later on but our rice is in aiva yes so from the look of things my chicken is a shallow fry not deep frying just shallow frying so we are just going to continue with our recipe so that's our pot nikai kelia just a little bit of oil in as much as our chicken badu kuna ile mafuta i just sikutaka like ishikane chini yes so from hapo we are just going to stuff stir it a little bit and then add in our ingredients that i didn't mention earlier on so that is cumin chicken masala we have oregano and uh, a little bit of black pepper yes sikutaka ikuwe mingi sana but if you want to put other ingredients you're free to go yes so from the look of things nisha star star a little bit and then i'm just going to add in my paste of ginger and garlic not too much of it yes because you don't want it to lose lather you know the original test your chicken hutaki pote yeah so i'll leave it to cook for about two to three minutes because sitaki it turn golden brown and sitaki anze kushikana uko chini yes so after two to three minutes we will be back and then add in our tomato paste yes and then una deep fry to just a little bit like it's even sana for just a minute cuz utaki zini ni zako zote zishikane chini so after one minute we are going to come back and add in our maziwa lala and time when you bado our chicken in a prepare like in a mix all the ingredients all together zingenda ni ya kuku our rice is ready i just uh to add the food color niliaka food color ya orange and i uh, a little bit of yellow but sikutaka ikuwe mingi sana yes and our rice is ready and uku bado kuku inaendelea kuiva nika add a little bit of salt and then later on i'll add in our glass of 
maziwa lala if you don't if you don't like maziwa lala you can use plain yogurt yogurt yenye haina any anything sukari nini yes cuz hiyo ndo sasa the main let me just say a little bit of the main ingredient here uh, the chicken biryani yes so we are going to leave it to cook for about 3 to 5 minutes 5 minutes ikienda sana maximum after that tutai starve kidogo 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 kidogo, kidogo pale cause atutaki our chicken to overcook just like i had mentioned earlier on we don't want i don't like or i don't prefer uh overcooked chicken so from hapa we are going to add in our deep fried uh can i say deep fried yes ile onions zetu zenye tulikuwa to share deep fry yuko our golden brown onions sasa hii ndo inaenda kuipea the main flavor like hey ukisha mix and then you leave it to cook for about 2 to 3 minutes imagine your chicken biryani will be ready and since nilikuwa namalizia hii video i just wanted to make everything like ikiva hivi zote zikiwa pamoja that is the onions and the dania Yes, and then I'll simmer it for about a minute because sita kile ladha ipo tena iive sana. Yes, and imagine that's how our chicken biryani recipe imeisha. Just simple as such. And nisha maliza, I'm going to serve it and I'm going to enjoy it. Like maraisi to me ataki jiko, I'll use my bare hand because that is how I always see how people are preparing or eating their chicken biryani at home. Yes, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and comment. To my new subscribers, karibuni sana and to those who, who always come back to watch my video. Now Penda Sana, I love you guys. Thank you for patronizing my videos. Thank you for watching them. Thank you for always coming back. Mungu bariki. May God continue opening ways for you guys, all of you. Yes. Now Penda, now Penda Sana. I know it's the minute, but I'm not going to get lost for a while. I'll keep on sharing and giving you more recipes as time goes by. So, please like this video, comment and share. Until next time. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah.